Hey guys, it appears that some of you have been having issues with regards to the instructions in my previous video on how to upgrade your Twitch chat and use a stream elements um, widget. So I'm going to walk through the instructions that I've added in that video description within this video. So hopefully any of you who have commented there and had issues will have those issues resolved by the end of this video. All right, so as you can see, we're on my previous video for how to upgrade your stream using this free Twitch chat overlay. So I couldn't get the widget alert set up properly or approved or gone through all those procedures with regards to the stream elements discord and whatnot. I didn't hear back from them. So I just added uh, the overlay instructions set up within the video description. So that's right here. Um, so new overlay setup instructions. And basically those are the instructions that you go through when you're in stream elements. So first thing we need to do is download the stream elements chat overlay file. So there's just a Google drive link here. Anybody should be able to access it and you can just download these files. Um, let me go through and click download here, but yeah, basically what we'll get is the following. So you should see these, these documents. It's been a while since I've looked at it, but all these correspond to something that you'll, um, utilize or, uh, transfer over into stream elements. So now let's jump into stream elements. So now we're in stream elements. I'm just going to jump into, is it streaming tools overlays? Okay. So this is the collection of overlays that I've edited, downloaded, what have you. Um, we're just going to start a brand new overlay and 1080p. Let's sure that's fine. I don't think that matters. And we'll add a widget. And here, this is where we need to follow those instructions on my side monitor. I have the instructions. And basically the instruction says, go to my overlays, go to new overlay, go to add widget. So that's what we've done so far. Static slash custom. So let's head into here. Is there a selection there? Yep, there is. And we will go to custom widget. So this one, so we've added a custom widget. Now we just go into settings and we go open editor. So if we go open editor right here, we can see that all the code is made available to us. Okay, so now we just need to copy the file contents into uh, the corresponding tabs within this uh, edit interface. So I'm going to open up my uh, files on the side. Clean modern chat HTML. We'll just copy and paste that in here. Um, what's next? CSS. We'll copy and paste the CSS. Most of the value add you get out of this from my plugin versus the original creator's plugin that's mentioned in the previous video is done via the CSS. Um, let's jump into the JS, copy and paste that in here. And fields, there's a fields text document that we'll copy and paste that data into here. And then the data, it's just a few items here to do an initial default set. And so once we do this, we should just be able to click done and then see that everything has been updated. So after copy and pasting all the code in, all I need to do is just drag this kind of test window down and then uh, run test message and everything works fine. So hopefully that helped you guys out. Just like and subscribe. You know, I try and go the extra effort for you guys, make things easier for you, help you upgrade your streams. I really love streaming. I stream on Thursdays, every Thursday on Twitch, and I really just love helping people get to the place they want to be in terms of the stream, any life goals, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, I love creating awesome content and high quality streams. So hopefully this helps you guys out in that regard. Um, but yeah, I should, I should really stop talking. So I'm going to go now. Bye.